Everyone loves a good underdog story, right? David vs. Goliath, uh, Rocky vs. Apollo Creed, the fearless girl vs. the charging bull, right? <sighs> I'm actually not so sure about that one. For those of you who don't know, there's a bit of a controversy over a statue known as the Fearless Girl. It was erected at Bowling Green in New York City, standing directly across from an older statue erected in 1989, it's called the Charging Bull. Without any context, it might seem like this statue is just another tale of an underdog story. A little girl just boldly standing there, staring down a bull with her hands on her hips, strong posture as if to say, uh, fuck you bull, I ain't taking your shit. Clearly this is just an empowering message for young girls in today's society, right? I mean, if you couldn't get behind that, clearly it must be because you fucking hate women, right? Well, as what usually happens with people who get outraged over things on the internet without doing the slightest bit of research, people actually are interpreting the backlash to this as, oh, I fucking hate women. And I'm sure there are some dudes who are fucking idiots that are just like, yeah, fuck women, this statue's dumb, I hate it, without doing any research themselves, but... Once you actually look into this thing, the whole thing fucking falls apart. The statue's been there for about a month or so, but what's reignited the controversy about it is that the artist behind the Charging Bull, Arturo Di Modica, has begun a campaign to get rid of the Fearless Girl. He argues that the placement of the Fearless Girl depends on his bull statue, and it completely vilifies it, and changes the context to something that he never intended. See, what this bull is intended to represent is the strength of America, particularly in the financial sense. And once you know that, the whole symbolism of the Fearless Girl completely fucking falls apart. I mean, at that point, what are you really saying? That, um, feminism is the enemy of financial prosperity? That, uh, we value shallow feelings of empowerment over things that are actually useful in the practical real world? I mean, I'm sure there are people who will look at that and say, well, actually, now that makes it a much more fitting symbol. But you know what? Fuck the symbolism. Let's go even deeper. When the Fearless Girl statue was originally erected, it came with a placard at her feet. And the placard read, Know the power of women in leadership. She makes a difference. State Street Global Advisors. It's a fucking advertisement, guys. It's a fucking advertisement. She, S-H-E, that's a pun. She, S-H-E, refers to an index fund that's offered by State Street Global Advisors, the company that commissioned this statue. It's a fucking advertisement, but let's go even deeper than that. What does the placard at the girl's feet say? Once again, know the power of women in leadership. Right? Well, guess what? We can take a look at the State Street Global Advisors website and see who their fucking leadership is. I see a couple of women in here, but it looks like a shitload of old white guys. That's what I love about these kinds of fucking stories, and it's been a bit of a recurring theme on this channel. You see, you get all these fucking companies, they act like they believe in shit, and it pisses me off so much when you see all these people buying into it that these companies really represent something. Companies like this, they pretend to believe in a lot of shit, but deep down, they only really believe in one fucking thing. That's taking your money. Anyway, until next time, everybody get fucked.